There's a young man. I talked to him. I wish I was with you. That's really weird, Lisa. Uh. I'm the greatest God created. Power tripping on the mission. Taffy says it's a waste of time to try and fix a boy. It's better just accept a guy's flaws. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I can't do that. Not until we bury the body. There is no turning back now. I can't be saved. And in the next life they'll remember me. Remember me. Really hope this goth phase ends soon. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, welcome. I am the Wolfman, and today is an exciting day because I got to see the mystery movie on Monday. And so I the mystery movie. That, what what that basically is is you don't know what you're going to go see it's a surprise movie they give you little hints throughout but it's a little surprise movie and then you uh get to see it in advance early before anyone else it's only like five bucks a ticket i have regal limited so it's free for me but this week's regal mystery movie was an advanced screening of Lisa Frankenstein. Now, it's odd because usually they do it like two weeks early, but this is only like three days early for its release. But I'm here to review this movie for you guys because uh, I really do want to talk about this film. This film is the new Diablo Cody written film. She's dabbling back into the world of horror after her successful hit, Jennifer's Body. And it stars Catherine Newton and Cole Sprouse. Yes, that's one of the Sprouse brothers from Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. And it is directed by Zelda Williams, who is actually Robin Williams' daughter. So if y'all did not know that, well, now y'all know. It's coming out in theaters just in time for Valentine's Day. It'll be in theaters this Friday. Um, definitely take your... Definitely have a date night with this movie because this movie, while it is her dabbling back into the world of, you know, horror with like horror comedy, the gist is this girl basically falls in love with a corpse. And so it feels very Tim Burton-y. It's heavily inspired by Tim Burton. There's a lot of Tim Burton kind of kind of references to it. You, this feels a lot like Corpse Bride. This feels a lot like Edward Scissorhands. This has a lot of those kind of vibes to it, and I dug it a lot because of that. Also, it also takes place in 1989, so of course the 80s aesthetic is fantastic. I'm an 80s kid at heart. Anyone who knows me knows that I love that era. It's my favorite era, <clears throat> and so anything that's in that era is great, and the soundtrack here is awesome. Ario Ar Speedwagon, other great uh, bands in here because of course it's the 80s so they had like the best music so all that is really awesome i loved the production design of this and the way that it all looks the costuming especially i do want to throw out the hair and makeup design like the way that they did the hair and makeup in here looked incredible the um like especially all the practical effect makeup on on cole sprouse whenever he's you know, his dead corpse and such. It was really great. I thought, <clears throat> you know, the way the cinematography was, how the colors popped off the screen, you would have like pinks popping off of blues, popping off of reds, popping off with all these other beautiful colors. It was a gorgeous looking movie. I thought 
all that worked on a technical level. This is fantastic. It has a very Tim Burton-y retro score to it. Like the score of the movie is feels a lot like that as well. This is great. And we just received word, I think a day or two ago, that this movie will be taking place in the same universe as Jennifer's body. And it's fitting because this has so sort of some tonal connections with Jennifer's body. It kind of relates to it a bit. And, and I'm a huge fan of Diablo Cody. I loved Tolly. I loved uh, Juno. That's one of my all-time favorite movies. I thought Jennifer's body was really good. thought Young Adult was good. Yeah, so she's like four out of five. Now, well, now she's five out of the five that I've seen from her right now. She's knocking out of the part for me. All the performances here. Catherine Newton is great. The and 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 the script that Diablo Cody wrote, by the way, is so wickedly sharp. It's so sharp. It's one of her best scripts. And it's her return because Tolly was in 2018. So this is like a return to form for her. And I love to see her back. I love to see her working again. And and yeah, I thought that Catherine Newton was excellent in this movie. Uh, Cole Sprouse really is showing himself to be some someone to like look out for after this movie. Like I feel like out of the two Sprouse brothers, he probably has the best career going for him right now. Uh, Dylan Sprouse is doing a bunch of like these after everything, after we collided, you know, those dumb, like melodramatic, low budget romance movies. He, on the other hand, is doing something unique and inventive and creative and all that and and this is and this is definitely really a good step up for him i just think overall the way the movie uh the the comedy of this movie was so funny it's so quotable i laughed out loud the whole audience was roaring and laughing out loud you know that a movie is good when the, this is the first time this has ever happened in a mystery movie guys very first time at a mystery movie that they literally, the entire packed audience, like, erupted in applause at the end. Like, people loved this movie. So take their word for it. It's great. The style of it is great. The editing, how just quick it is. The, like, how it mixes, at one point, it mixes black and white. And then it mixes animation. And then it mixes all this different stuff in there. I don't want to give away too much. But it's, it's, <sighs> it was an utter delight. This is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. And it definitely lived up to the hype, guys. I'm so happy to say that because, you know, January was kind of rough. And now with uh, February, we're finally getting in to like some really good movies now. We're, and I'm I'm excited to see what the rest of the year holds now after seeing something like Lisa Frankenstein. I think this shows a lot of promise for Zelda Williams. I'm excited to see what Zelda Williams does next after this. I'm very excited to see what Cole Sprouse does after this, what Catherine Newton does after this. If if this is connected to the Jennifer's Body universe now, then I hope that she makes like a crossover film one day because because this is going to get comparisons to Jennifer's Body, and this is also going to get comparisons to Warm Bodies because it's very similar of a woman falling in love with a dead person, stuff like that. So it's going to get a lot of similarities to like Warm Bodies and such, but. I actually preferred this to Warm Bodies. I liked Warm Bodies, but I think that this one had just more of a unique flair to it. And I thought they, it, it's got a, it's not going to be for everyone because this movie is very melodramatic. And kind, if you've watched the trailers, you can kind of get it that this movie has an intentional, it's not unintentional. This movie has an intentional no melodrama to it where it's like, where every character is like, you can go speak to my lawyer. Or it's like, oh, you cut that off for me. And they're like over the top, just, you know, so ridiculous. And if you're into that kind of stuff, then I think you're really going to dig this. I love ridiculous humor with my horror. If you If you can do that and you can give it to me and do it right, then I'm always happy, so, and this one does it right. So I'm very pleased uh, with it, So, but it's not going to be for everyone. My only negatives with this movie is I felt like, you know, at first it took a little while to get going, but then once it got going, once it, like, found its footing, I was like, okay, yeah, this is, like, 
this is really fantastic. Like once the what happens happens. Once the um, how do I say this? I'm spoiling it. Once the once Cole Sprouse enters the picture with Catherine Newton and all that, then it starts to get really interesting. And I'm like, okay, I'm yeah, I'm into this. Not not to say like the first 10, 15 minutes of this movie are bad or anything. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that like it was a little slow at first, and I was like, okay, this is trying to I'm I'm where is this gonna go? I don't know where this is gonna go yet. I need to see more from this. And then once I saw more, I was really into this and it and I really dug it. And honestly, I don't have very many flaws of this. It's given me everything I wanted and more. This is everything I was hoping for and more. This is just so charming. It's got that. It's got the right amount of yes, you're gonna love the 80s throwback nostalgia, but then you're also gonna love the you are gonna get those like horror things in there and even the gory kills here and there that like pe people love in their horror. So you're gonna get stuff like that. But then you're also gonna get this wacky over the top tone with that heartfelt, you know, charming classic rom com feel of like a while you were sleeping or a you know, that's just one of my favorite rom-coms. That's why I mentioned it. But or you know, one of those other classic rom-coms. You're gonna definitely get that kind of vibe with this. And I was pleasantly surprised by that. And I and I I thought that the mix and match of those different tones worked perfect here. And I'm 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 very pleased, and I definitely cannot wait to see it again. I, I definitely will see this one many more times because this is definitely a um, this comes out the same weekend as Out of Darkness and I will be reviewing Out of Darkness for you guys. So I'll have to do like another horror double feature. It's a good time to be a horror fan. We get a lot of good horror movies in theaters right now. So definitely add this one to your list if it's something you think you'd be interested in. Also, by the way, has the funniest scene of the year. Hands down. I laughed so hard in my chair that I don't know if anything can top how funny that scene was this year. Like I was rolling with some of the other audience members. Like we were just dead when this scene hit. So whenever it happens and you'll know when it happens, trust me, you'll probably have the same reaction. It's fucked up. This whole movie is kind of fucked up. Honestly, it's like a kind of a fucked up romance, but a delightful one. It's so hard to describe, but it, it, I, yeah, it is. It's fantastic. Just go see it, guys. I'm very happy that I got to see this early. Thank you, Regal. Thank you to the Monday Mystery Movie for playing this one uh, for us because, you know, they can be very hit or miss, but this one is definitely a hit. And, and I, and I'm, I couldn't be more happier. So that'll do it for this review, guys. Be sure to check out Lisa Frankenstein when it releases in your theater on uh, February the 9th. Yes. Or February 8th for those Thursday night screenings. But definitely go check it out whenever you guys can get the chance to. You won't regret it. Take it date out. Take your date out to watch it. Go take some friends out to go watch it. Every this There's something in here for everyone. Y'all are going to really enjoy this. So there you go, guys. Diablo Cody's return. Lisa Frankenstein out in theater soon. Go check it out. We will see you all in the next review. And until next time, stay spooky, my friends. And keep on watching those horror movies.